What is going on guys, it is Mike from Poketips Official, and today I'm coming at you with an ultra 4-in-1 tutorial for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Today I'm going to be teaching you how you can get the Oval Charm, the Destiny Knot, the Everstone, and the Power Items, 4 amazing items that you will need if you want to become a Pokemon Breeding Master in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Before we start, make sure you've beaten the game and become the champion, because a few of these items you will only be able to get after you beat the game. Alright, so let's jump right into things with the Oval Charm. The Oval Charm is an essential item in Pokemon breeding because it increases the chance of you getting an egg from the Pokemon Nursery. So the Oval Charm you can get after you beat the game if you go to Heia Heia City and go to the Game Freak building. On the second floor, if you talk to one of the people there, it will be Game Freak Morimoto and talking to him will initiate a Pokemon battle with him and Game Freak Iwo, and sorry if I'm mispronouncing these names. Fun fact about both of these people, so Iwo is the director of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and Morimoto has been around with Game Freak forever, and he was actually the person who created the Pokemon Mew. Since they both have some pretty strong high-level Pokemon, make sure you are ready for this double battle. Once you defeat them, Morimoto will give you the wonderful Oval Charm. Alright, next up, the Destiny Knot. The Destiny Knot is amazing in Pokemon breeding because when it's held by a Pokemon in the daycare center, it will allow the offspring, the baby Pokemon that comes out of the egg, to inherit 5 out of the 12 individual values or IVs of the two parent Pokemon. You can get a Destiny Knot of your very own by flying over to Tapu Village and then going down to Route 14 and hopping on your ride Pokemon, surfing through the ocean. You're gonna see a woman getting attacked by Frillish, and you have to go over there and rescue her from those terrifying Pokemon. Once you defeat one of them in battle, the other ones will run away, and then she will reward you with the Destiny Knot. Alright my friend, you're doing well so far, so now it's time to go ahead and get the Everstone. The Everstone is really useful in Pokemon breeding because whichever parent Pokemon holds it will pass down the nature that it has to the offspring baby Pokemon. So, you could go ahead and get yourself an Everstone by going over to Howley City and going to visit Alima's house on the left side of town. You'll know it's Alima's house because you'll see a really big pool outside of the house, and I'm kind of jealous because I wish I had a pool. Go inside of his house and his dad's gonna pop up and ask you a question about how you think his son is doing at being a captain. Once you answer the question, he'll let you go upstairs to Alima's room, and then you can talk to Alima. He will engage you in a quick little Pokemon battle, but make sure once again that you're ready for this battle because Alima's Pokemon are all at level 60, so they're pretty powerful. Once you defeat Alima, he will take you back to his room for tea and snacks, and then once you're done with the tea and snacks, he will give you the Everstone. Now, in the original Pokemon Sun and Moon games, you could do this event really early in the game, and you'd be able to battle a much weaker version of Alima. Since I'm doing this after I already became the champion, I'm not sure if you could do this event earlier on in the game. I don't think you can, but as long as you're doing this after you've become the champion, you have nothing to worry about, and you'll be able to get yourself an Everstone. And last but not least, we have the power items. The power items are not only really useful for EV training, but they're also really useful in breeding. And that is because, depending on the specific item that your Pokemon is holding in the Pokemon Nursery, it will pass down a guaranteed IV to the baby Pokemon. You can get all of the power items by going to the Battle Royale Dome and trading with one of the NPCs Battle Points or BP for the power items. You can get Battle Points by battling in the Battle Dome, battling in the Battle Tree, or from the very fun surfing minigame at one of the beaches. Alright my friends, and that concludes my mega tutorial on how to get all of these items. I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome Pokemon content just like this. Also, if you're interested in learning more about Pokemon breeding, check out my Pokemon breeding tutorial, which I will link in the description below, as well as have an annotation on the screen that you can click on. So once again, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.